Tom, unfortunately speaking, after a defeat tonight, what are your thoughts after that one? Well, I'm disappointed in the result. Um, the manner in which we conceded the two goals frustrates me because we felt that that was their route to goal, you know, the way that they scored a goal. Um, so we didn't stop the cross, we didn't mar mark the man in the box for the first one after giving away a daft, lazy free kick at the front of the pitch. So it's not just one person's fault. I said the lads at half time that we would have to make two or three concurrent errors for them to score. With all due respect, they, they, they pummel your box, whether it's throw-ins, corners, free kicks, and when they get the balls into wide areas, it's up to us to stop them. We didn't have the manpower today. Um, on Saturday, everybody was given a huge pat on the back, not particularly by me, by the way, but by media outlets and social media outlets. And I think one or two just stopped believing the hype. And they've got to get on with it. We're three games into a 46-game season, um, and one or two of them have just heard a couple of harsh truths in there. As you say, early doors. I mean, when you're going to make some mistakes, hopefully you can get them out of the way early so we can learn from them. Is, is it a case of that? Um, yeah, I mean, look, I'm not one, and I've never been one for just pointing my finger at one player and saying, no, well, it's his fault, it's his man who scores at the end of the attack. There's got to be something happened for them to have the ball in the first place. I pride myself in our team trying to keep the ball, certainly better than we did at times. In, not everybody, because I thought, that, again, the two midfield men against the three in there were, were very, very good all game. Um, the goal we scored was typical of us. You know, we've probed and penetrated eventually into the box and finished with a good goal. Um, but we, we've conceded two goals that, with all due respect, you can see coming before they happen. And that, that's the frustration. So, But look, at the end of the day, I'm a big believer. We're three games into a 46-game season, as I said. And we just got to move on to the next game. They're coming thick and fast. Have a head count on Thursday um, and see how we go. It's, it seems we always say this, doesn't it? But it is typical of this league. You know, you come to Braintree tonight, a team that's just been promoted. They were, they hadn't had a win this <coughs> season, but here we are and they've played brilliant. Well, not necessarily brilliant tonight, but they've, they've scored two goals against us and, and they've got the three points tonight. So it does show, doesn't it, that, you know, you've got to go into every game, you know, respecting the opponent. Well, a million percent, and we do. We did our due diligence absolutely on, on them. And you know what? The scoreline for them at Oldham was a little harsh. I have watched the whole game. And there was one goal in it, you know, they're no, they're no mugs. They've, they've been promoted and they've added genuine course and distance players for this level. They're a handful at the front of the pitch, whoever's on the pitch, whether it's Big Innie or, or Big John. Um, and they've got pace and mobility around them. So, you know, it's no secret about the way they play and, it, and I'm not knocking the way they play. It's just not the way I choose to play. So tonight, they've got to take the accolades and they're quite rightly we're very raucous as the past our dressing room, but I hope that's hurt one or two of my lads, like I said, because um, it's not something I like to do when you feel like you're, you're on top, which we were at half time. Um, I, I felt the chances we had, we should have probably been two or three, maybe even more than that up there. Goalie made one hell of a save, mm. um, but we've hit our own man on the line. We've, mm. we've missed from under the bar. We've missed an open goal from 25 yards. You know, let's let's be honest, the game should have been put to bed. But you've got to give them credit, and I think that's what they're built on. You know, they got promoted because they were, you know, dogged and determined. And this isn't an easy place to come and play football. So, um, give them, doff the hat to them tonight. You briefly mentioned it. I guess the main positive to take out of it is the goal we scored. Very, very good play and, and a brilliant assist again from Theo. He's, he's really at his creative best at the moment. Isn't I wasn't he? sure who did it. but I know it was a good goal because we were probing and, you know, um, asking them questions and then there was a great pass into the box. But Ryan's had to you know, take a great touch and finish. So, look, I, I never pointed the finger at just because somebody's man has scored a goal in fluid play. It's not just that man's fault. Same as a goal. It's not always just the goal scorer. You know, I don't know, whoever passed the ball to Ryan Jones, maybe well could have shot himself, but felt Ryan's in a better position. The same when we concede a goal. Something's happened at the front of the pitch where someone's lazy and is offside, and he's no need to be offside. Gives away a daft free kick. The ball's moved wide. I don't know who should have stopped the ball yet. When I watch back, I'll know. The ball's not stopped on the way in the box, and then the ball's not challenged in the box, giving your goalkeeper no chance. So, look, we'll analyse it over the next 24 hours. We'll have a head count uh, on Thursday morning, um, and we go again, because we, we know what we're facing against Oldham, which would be a very different puzzle to this one. Finally, it's always the case that it's way too early to say anything, but Josh Barrett, we've unfortunately lost in the first half. Any yeah. any no idea what that is at the moment? Well, he was splattered from behind, and he hit his head on the floor on the way down, and it's... It's not a forgiving surface. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it was unfortunate to lose him, but I thought James come on and, and give us a calmness on the ball at times, quality coming out from the back through him as well. Um, but, you know, once, I don't know his my honest answer. Like I said, we, we're just 15 minutes after the game. Knowing Josh, he'd probably shake his head and he'd be all right <laughs> in the morning. So, like I said, we, we'll know more tomorrow and then on Thursday. Um, 
but right now I, we're not sure.